Today we're gonna to be going over 10 of the best performing summer designer fragrances here for 2023. I already dropped my uh, top 10 summer designer fragrances video and there's a lot of great options in there. However, when I do that type of video, I'm not really prioritizing performance necessarily. I'm just going after what I think works best in the summertime and what I look forward to wearing most in the summertime. Not all of those will meet this particular criteria right here in this video. These are focused more on performance. The others are more just about the season in general. Generally, when it comes to summer scents and affordable designer summer scents, beast mode performers are few and far between, at least when you stack them up against fall wintertime scents. There's a way better chance you'll come across something super powerful when you're shopping for that time of year. However, there are some great options out there that do perform well. And when it comes to summertime, you really don't want something that's gonna be too obnoxious and really heat up and get too crazy loud in the heat because at that point it will become annoying to wear. So all of these here are gonna give you great performance, mostly great longevity, and they're not gonna get too out of control and too crazy to the point where you regret wearing them. Now I will drop links to these down below to discounters so you can pick these up at prices below retail if you are interested. And also if you're on the hunt for anything rare, discontinued, or hard to find, uh, hit the first link down below, sign up to my mailing list, and you can also send a text to the number down below to get text uh, alerts as well. Anytime something great comes into stock, uh, your typical uh, hard to find, hype be sense, I will send you a notification so you can pick them up. Okay, let's get it kicked off at number 10, starting at the bottom of the list where they are less performing and we'll work our way up to the stronger ones, Bulgari Aqua Pour Ohm. It's all about the seaweed, some lemon bergamot in here, some woody notes. This is a true aquatic scent. It is very, very realistic. The seaweed in here is no joke. So make sure you're aware of that when going into this. This isn't like Aqua de Jo or anything like that. It is real, it's salty, it's kind of earthy in an oceanic way. It is aquatic uh, with some woods going on, some citrus, but ultimately it is something that a true aquatic fragrance lover will really enjoy and people who aren't into that sort of thing will probably hate this. It is a good performer though, uh, especially for the price point, especially for the fact that it is a summertime aquatic scent. Uh, you can expect to get about seven, eight hours out of this, which might not sound like anything crazy, but when you kind of take all factors into consideration, that's pretty good when you kind of look at it that way. Next up, and number nine, we'll have Polo Blue Parfum version here. Now this one's got orange, oak, olibanum, so it's a different style of summer scent. This will be more for your summer evenings or times where you want to smell a little bit more put together. And you kind of want to step away from the playful style scents. Uh, Polo at this point has many flankers across the board from all the Polo greens, Polo blues, Polo reds. There's a whole bunch of them. The Polo blue line is also pretty expansive. And this is the Parfum version, which is right now the latest edition, and um, it's one of my personal favorites out of all of them. Deep Blue Parfum is another one that's really good. It uses a mango accord with a lot of ambroxan, more blue fragrance style, think like Sauvage Dylan Blue type. That's a great option as well, but again, this one's a little bit more refined, a little bit more mature. It's gonna get you kind of in that same seven, eight hour ballpark, and it is a parfum, so you get great scent trail out of this as well. At number eight, we have Bentley for Men Silver Lake. Now this one kind of has some violet leaf going on, a lot of citrus, kind of an aquatic accord. Reminds me a little bit of like an Aqua de Jo Ascenza, kind of touches on that DNA a little bit yeah, with their own twist. Um, so it's not a straight up clone. They're focusing more on the ozonic aspects of, of something like this to kind of make it its own thing entirely but it definitely is borrowing from some of that Aqua de Jo DNA, which does make this one familiar, but it makes it very wearable as well. Uh, this one comes in at about $47. I just checked, 100 mil, and it is an Eau de Parfum. Now, this has great performance, really impressive. I wasn't for sure going into it how well it was gonna do when I first got it in. You gotta think you're coming from Bentley for Men, the original, Intense and Absolute, which are huge, powerful scents. They're great for um, the winter time. They have great bang for your buck. They're all affordable, even more affordable than this. Great performers. Um, so I wasn't for sure if they were going to continue to keep that up with the fresher one, but they did a pretty good job. This is kind of in that nine hour range here. 
Number seven, we have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. It's all about the ozonic notes, the violet leaf, and the grapefruit, most notably the grapefruit. Very strong citrus here, very realistic. If you don't like grapefruit and scents, you will not like this because it is at the forefront and it's a very realistic one. Just to reiterate, I'm putting that out there because this one really kind of messed with some people. You know, no matter how many times you say, realistic grapefruit accord at the forefront, it's the star of the show, people still get it and say it smells like body odor or something. I mean, this is the type of thing that we are looking for when we constantly push back on designer brands because we want something different. They gave it to us right here. And what do you know, Italian love is a limited edition and I don't think this one's gonna be around forever either. It's definitely one where you should pick it up while you can. Again, Italian love is a great example as well. That one focuses more on bergamot. Uh, between both of them, they both have great performance. This one's a little bit better. And number six, we have Azaro Chrome Extreme. Right around, I think 40 to 50 bucks. I can't remember for sure. Sometimes testers show up for a bit less, things like that. But it's right there at that mid-range designer price. Now, this one is a clone of Aqua de Joe Profondo. So this kind of has some of the orange mineral notes kind of deal going on here, which sets that DNA apart entirely. It smells different than all of the other Aqua de Joes. It smells different than something like Bulgari Aqua, which we already talked about. It's just a different delivery, a different style of an aquatic scent. It's a little bit more refreshing. It's a little bit more kind of clean and blue feeling. I don't know, there's something about the DNA that's really unique, and this one does go after it pretty heavily. It also comes in at essentially about roughly half the price. So if you are on a budget and you wanna get similar to Aqua de Joe Profondo, this is kind of the one you should really look into. It's a Nota Parfum as well, and uh, it's got great performance. Impressive stuff for a great price. Breaking into the top five, just so I don't have to keep repeating myself going forward, these, Top five, you know, so number five and above are all gonna be at that nine, 10 hour range and beyond. If some of them go super beyond, I'll let you know, but performance is going to be such a, a variable between person to person that if I say I got eight, that it doesn't really apply to people, to everybody. So instead of going through that kind of monotonous, uh, you know, thing going forward here, nine plus for these top five. And at number five, to kick it off, we have Low Dissy Pour Ohm Intense by Issy Miyake. I never thought you'd see one of these in a performance video, but this one in particular does very well. It's got incense, yuzu, papyrus, a little bit of nutmeg, not a ton. There are some spicy notes. You see the incense, right? Some people will immediately see that and think, oh, it smells like Blue de Chanel. It doesn't, though. It is still the Low Dissy DNA, but with a little bit of a smoky kick, a little bit of a spicy kick and significantly better performance. You know, maybe at some point back in the day, the original Low Dissy Pour Ohm was really strong. I don't know because I wasn't into fragrances at that time and I don't have a bottle that is that old. But now, with my more current bottle, nothing to write home about performance-wise. This one solves that, but again, it's a different take on the DNA. Ultimately, I think you can get this for around $30, $35. It's a very good deal for a great summer performer. Number four, we have Tom Ford Costa Azura Parfum. So this is introduced over into the signature line instead of being in the private blends anymore. And this is the new Parfum Flanker. It's got cypress, lemon, and oak in here. The Costa Azura DNA has to be, hands down, the most refined, elegant smelling marine scent. So this whole DNA, so the private blend, the original, the new parfum, just all of these Costa Azuras, it is the number one most luxurious smelling marine scent on the market, in my opinion. Uh, so that's a big uh, claim to make, I understand. But look at the trends. A lot of the aquatics, a lot of the marines go in the opposite direction. Bulgari Aqua even still has some of that playfulness going on a little bit. Not as much as some of the others, but a little bit. This one has this really cool driftwood accord, which is essentially kind of a soft, musky woodiness, getting some other um, kind of aromatics going on. A little bit of citrus, not a ton. Such a unique, sophisticated, classy summertime scent. This is great for evenings out in the summer. It's great for events where you want to smell like an expensive, high-class individual in the summertime. Look no further than this. It's a great performer. 
Okay, breaking into the top three with Dior Ohm Sport 2021. Lemon, bergamot, woody notes. There's some LME in here, some pink pepper. I never thought I would be putting a Dior Ohm Sport in a performing, top performing video. You know, Ohm Intense and the Parfum, they make it all over the place in, this, in these videos. They're not summer sets, so they're not in here. But aside from those, you really wouldn't think there are too many other great performers because there aren't too many other ones. Dior Ohm Cologne, rather weak. Uh, the Sport 2021, though, is impressively strong. And uh, it shocked me when I first got it. You know, did my first impressions. You can watch that live. Of course, I had no idea about performance doing that video. I went on to test it afterward, and I was so impressed. You know, after I shot the video, I didn't wash it off. I kept wearing it. The rest of the evening, I could still smell it strong. I'm like, this is cool. Continue to wear it. And then now, you've kind of seen me talk about it in other list videos. This does have impressive performance. Far above average compared to all of the other sport scents within this line and just in general on the market. Generally, sport is kind of a way for the brand to still sell something at an expensive price but make it less strong and they still make a lot of money off of it with getting a product that isn't as strong. It's kind of how it is. Uh, not here though. But this one here is another one that is uh, very classy, very refined. It's a summertime sporty scent with a slight bit of a resinous feel. Very little bit. Number two, Rasasi Hawas. So this one always makes it very high on my summer lists, but it also so happens to be a very strong performer as well, which I love because it's $45 all day long at usually fragrancebuy.ca, 44, 45 bucks. That's kind of the best price that I've seen it before, at least within the past few months. It's one of those deals where it's in stock, out of stock, all that sort of thing. I don't know, actually, I should have checked right now. I don't know for sure where it is. Even if it wasn't in stock, I would still place this in this list because it is deserving of it and it'll just come back into stock at some point anyway. If you want alerts for something like this, if it's out of stock right now, get on the mailing list, get on the texting list down below. Uh, I digress. Uh, this one is all about the plum, the ambroxan, the watery notes, the bergamot, some apple in here, a lot of lavender, aromatic freshness. Oh man, it's the Invictus Aqua DNA, but done in a way that is a little bit more focused on this clean linen smell and less invested in the bubblegummy sweetness. With all that being said, it's still a sweet kind of fruity summertime scent. Do not get me wrong, it still has some of that bubblegummy sweetness, but Invictus Aqua has it even more. You also can't really buy Invictus Aqua anymore. Both versions are discontinued. If you do want them, you could still get on the mailing list and stuff, and when they come in stock, I notify you. It's more often than you would think. However, though, I think Rasasi Hawas is kind of the way to go. Great performer for a super affordable price. So number one, I could have put a couple different options from this line in particular, but uh, I kind of wanted to go with the newest one, and I'll explain why. It's why. <laughs> Eau de Parfum Intense by YSL. Now, what does this one have that the others don't? It's more so what does it not have? It's kind of subtracting the sweet apple that the others, the EDP, the Parfum have, which kind of make that one a little bit cloying and sweet in summertime for some people. This one kind of introduces some more vetiver. There's some juniper berries in here. You get the lavender, you get the sage, you get some of that amber wood, even though I don't even know they officially listed the amber wood. You get it. This is a beautiful flanker. You know, I love the apple sweetness and Y Eau de Parfum and the Lay Parfum version, right? And even the Eau de Toilette has it. But there are times where it is a bit too much and there are times where I want something a little bit less loud. That is where this one comes in. It is a fantastic flanker that solves that issue for a lot of people. And pretty much across the board, aside from like Y Eau de Toilette and Y Eau Fresh, they all have a great performance. Uh, this one is also no exception. A great performing flanker here from the line. Very good stuff across all of the different categories from performance to compliment factor to quality to um, just the fact that it's a flanker that isn't super redundant. They're doing something a little bit different here. This one checks all of the boxes. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. My top 10 of strongest performing summer designer fragrances for 2023. If you are after performance, if that is kind of the sole thing you're looking for here, these are some you should check out. And really the top five especially are super strong, heavy hitters. 
Links will be down below. Deals will be going out to my mailing list and my texting list as well. Hit the first link down below, sign up, send a text to the number down below to sign up there as well. If you double opt in, your chances of being able to pick up Dior Own Parfum and Blue Electrique and you know Pure Excess Night and Parfums de Marley Layton for 160 bucks, your chances go way up. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.